Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. I'll be talking about the deltoid muscle in orthopedic surgery. In human anatomy, the deltoid muscle is the muscle forming the rounded contour of the shoulder. It was previously called the deltoideus and the name is still used by some anatomists. It is called so because it is in the shape of the Greek letter delta. Triangle. The deltoid is a frequent site to administer intramuscular injections. From this extensive origin the fibers converge toward their insertion. The middle passing vertically. The anterior obliquely backward and laterally. The posterior obliquely forward and laterally. They unite in a thick tendon. Which is inserted into the V. Shaped deltoid tuberosity on the middle of the lateral aspect of the shaft of the humerus. At its insertion the muscle gives off an expansion to the deep fasciate of the arm. When all its fibers contract simultaneously, the deltoid is the prime mover of arm abduction along the frontal plane. The arm must be internally rotated. This makes the deltoid an antagonist muscle of the pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi during arm abduction. The anterior fibers are involved in shoulder abduction when the shoulder is externally rotated. The anterior deltoid is weak in strict transverse flexion but assists the pectoralis major during shoulder transverse flexion slash shoulder flexion. Elbow slightly inferior to shoulders. The posterior fibers are strongly involved in transverse extension particularly since the latissimus torsi is very weak in strict transverse extension. The posterior deltoid is also the primary shoulder hyperextensor. The lateral fibers are involved in shoulder abduction when the shoulder is internally rotated, are involved in shoulder flexion when the shoulder is internally rotated, and are involved in shoulder transverse abduction, shoulder externally rotated, but are not utilized significantly during strict transverse extension, shoulder internally rotated. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.